wasn't the smartest idea. This ride is off to a rocky start. First, we got the weather that's like acting like Colorado over here where it's sunny and then it starts sprinkling and then it stops sprinkling and it says it's gonna come back. And then I just did a dumb ride up those stairs and my tire is just bubbling up on certain sections. I don't know if it's got a slow leak or what's the deal but we're just gonna ride it like that i came back to the truck to pump some air in it so hopefully it holds up the entire ride i want to test this bike i want to just compare it to my full suspension and i know it's obvious that these are two completely different bikes so i'm not looking to get the same results in in regards to riding but i really do want to get a feel for this hardtail and what it's like riding some of the same trails that I would normally ride on my full suspension. I understand that they're two different bikes. They're gonna do different things. One's gonna be better at some things and the other's gonna be better at other things. I'm mainly just looking to compare and uh, explain to you guys how I feel on this hardtail versus a full suspension. Dude, climbing with a hardtail, it's so nice because I feel like you don't have to try as hard. And I'm not saying pedaling uphill on an enduro bike is hard, but this is just a bit easier. But yeah, so far the climb has been a breeze. I, uh, I'm definitely liking that about this bike. My rear tire seems to be doing okay after smashing it into the stairs early. That is so crappy. My left eye just got smashed with a bunch of rocks. So I think this is where we're gonna start the trail. Normally I would keep going down that way and wrap around the mountain to the very, very top. But I don't think I've ever hit the trails that I'm gonna hit today. First one up is Sidewinder. And the second one up is called Washout. And then the last one is called Roller Coaster. Curious to see how this, how this trail rides. First official lap that this hardtail has seen. back and clean that up. Oh, it's a solid little jump right here that I, I wanted to hit. Try to stay to the right. And then the left over here. Oh, so sick. Stay right here. Wow, dude, such a different feeling. My phone's at like 9%, so I'm trying to save the battery so that way I know where to go. Check the map. So we popped out of this exit and then we got to do a short climb it's called middle switchback to get to our next trail it turned out to be a beautiful day a little bit of wind well, a 
lot of it okay <laughs> Choppy. Probably doesn't help that I'm running like 40 psi in the rear. And I forgot to drop it down because I was uh, scared my tire was gonna get flat. Whoa. Oh. That got my blood flowing. It must be so nice to build over here because you got running water to mix with your dirt. Oh, dude, my wrist. Oh. You feel everything on a hardtail. Roller coaster. Excuse me. Thank you so much. Just one coming down. Yeah. Was deeper than it looked. <laughs> ah. 
<laughs> I think we're gonna have like a nasty climb. Yep, right here. I think the rest of the trail is just basically what we climbed up. Drop a post. So convenient for a trail like this. When you're going up and down, up and down. Alright, so just one coming down. Thank you guys. We walk this section. Don't feel like getting stuck in the mud. Oh, that was sick. Let me get a clip of that. That thing gives you so much pop. Just like that, we're out. I had way too much fun with this bike. I feel like Marshall Canyon was a perfect place to give this bike its first run. There's a lot of climbing, it's a big loop, and there was some fun downhill, so we got a mix of everything. There's two things that I noticed the most about this bike is one, it climbs insanely well. And number two, I think hardtails definitely make you develop your bike handling skills, whether you want to or not. Like, 
you feel everything on the back and i think you have to really account for everything on the trail because with a full suspension you could just plow through a trail and you're good you know the suspension does the work for you but on this bike i noticed myself getting bucked a few times and i had to reassess and like just figure out where i was gonna ride down right like what line i was gonna take versus a full suspension I don't really think about that like I just go downhill and that's it you know and the bike does all the work a few things that I would add to this bike are a bash guard and then a mud guard or like a fender in the front so the mud doesn't splash up on me when I'm riding and then maybe a cush core in the rear just so it's a little more plush you know on the back since there's no suspension I feel like a cush core would be ideal I know my buddy Juan has one on his hardtail and he says he likes it so I think I might add one. So those three things might be what I will upgrade in the near future. That is going to wrap up this adventure, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll catch you on the next one.